me into Tana, recording live from New Mexico, New Jersey. We're having a huge, gigantic mite outbreak. It is going crazy everywhere. Take a look, guys. Oh my god! They're here! How do we stop them? They're everywhere! Well, with that intro, you guys know that we're going to be talking about mites and how to, the many ways how to go about to um, kill mites. And this is how I do it. There's many, many different other ways, but this is how I go about killing mites. I'm not saying that my snakes have mites. It's just I've seen on YouTube, there's very few videos about how about go killing mites. So first step, when you see a snake that has mites, let's just make pretend there's a snake in here. Automatically take the tub out. All right? as well as the snake and put the snake in a separate enclosure all right but sometimes when you see mites you kind of get carried away, carried away and, and want to do this you want to mess with my snakes mites take this Boom! don't ever mess with my snakes again all right now that you separated the tub from the rack you want to separate the snake from the tub that it was in. So take the snake and transfer it to another tub halfway filled with water. Uh, put the insert the snake into this tub with make sure it's warm water and make sure there's holes in the tub so the, the snake can breathe. Put the snake in there, close the top, leave it there for a good hour, hour and a half, every single day for a few weeks. It drowns the mites and mites cannot breathe underwater. So it'll help it kill the mites and um, Sometimes you get so frustrated, you feel like doing this. Oh yeah, Molotov cocktail. Take this, mites! Boom! Alright, now that you sprayed your tub down, you're going to want to clean your rack itself that the infected tub was in. So what I do, I take the Prevenamite, I spray it on a napkin. Don't soak it up, do it, you know, make it a little damp. Bring it down here to your rack where it was infected. Wipe clean, clean the corners, the crevices, everything like that. Because just in case some of the mites um, escape the tub into your rack, this is kind of works as a preventative. It, you know, some people, it's very a pain in the butt, pisses me off, and sometimes I feel like doing this. Uh, okay, all right, all right, you're not going away? Let's see if this works. Alright, after you're done soaking your snake, take your snake out, dry him up a little, and then put him back in his original tub. Alright, and make sure this original tub has bedding like this. This is white paper towel. Mites are black dots that can be easily seen with the white paper towel. Do not put cypress mulch back on there. Don't put them on newspaper, because newspaper is black and white, and mites are harder to see. But by putting this white paper towel, you'll see the mites much, much easier. I would keep this bedding in there for at least three months, I I'm going to be honest with you. Because mites are very sneaky like that, and their eggs could be microscopic and can't be seen. So, um, use this bedding. Mites can be easily seen. You can see like the, uh, the improvements of the uh, less and less mites as time passes. What I also like to use is this stuff that um, was suggested by me by my good friend Joe from Balls Deep Reptiles. <laughs> I try to sound like you, bro. It's not easy. Um, but this stuff is great. You can get this stuff called Nix from any store, any CVS store, pharmacy, anything like that. Um, very, 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 very relatively cheap. Uh, it comes in a paste. You just take the paste and you insert it in a bottle, a, a gallon of uh, water, warm water to be exact. Like I said, it comes in a paste, so you put it in there, you shake it really well and wait till it dissolves. Put it in a spray bottle and you can spray it directly on the snake and the snake's bedding as well. Um, it kills um, you know, mite eggs, it prevents mite eggs. It's a really, really good treatment for mites and it's a really good preventative as well. When I get um, new snakes from the, either the expo or in the mail or whatever like that, any new snakes at all, I spray this down on my snakes uh, as a preventative just in case it has any mite eggs because mite eggs are microscopic and you can't see them. Um, but this stuff works really, really well. I highly suggest it. Um, this is my many ways that I do to treat my mites. This is a method that I've used before and it works really, really, really well. I used it on uh, my bows when they got mites. Now they have, my, none of my snakes have mites at all. But um, yeah, guys, if this doesn't work, if this method, Drew the Entertainer method doesn't work, you can always result to the grand finale, which is this. Enjoy.
truly entertaining. Now time for the grand finale. Take this, mites! Boom! Don't ever mess with my snakes again. I'm Drew the Entertainer. Just for a note, the explosives and all that graphic stuff was not real. So tell your mommy and daddy it was a joke. I'm Drew the Entertainer. I entertain. Entertainment. Alright? Put a smile on your face. I did my job. Thank you guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks, Reptile Community.